Hey guys, today doing an install on this Kurt uh, 3500 pound tow hitch for my 2018 Dodge Ram from Master City. Um, got this from Amazon for about 140 bucks. Uh, needed to haul, uh, got a little trailer for it. Uh, all it came with for that 140 bucks was just a bar, no ball. You gotta get your own. I think this is about a two inch. Two inch tow hitch. Let me... Yeah. Yeah. Two inch. So uh, let's get it installed. Okay, here's a short list of the tools that you're gonna need for this install. A couple of tools that I used that made life a little bit easier were an impact driver along with the Phillips and T27 bits and also a 90 degree attachment for my impact gun. All right, there are one, two, three, and four of these T27 screws that are along this bumper line here. Um, we're gonna wanna take those out first, and then um, we're gonna move on to taking off the rear tail lights and removing all the screws on the corners of the, uh, the bumper here. Okay. First off, we're gonna take off these tail lights. So we're gonna start off here with these three Phillips screws, and the light is also attached in behind here with uh, two little rubber pieces that are that uh, stick the light to the actual body. Um, what I what I used was a flathead screwdriver covered in painter's tape and I kind of stuck it in there and kind of pried it out but uh, they have these things at uh, you can find that your O'Reilly's or AutoZone they have it's like a little plastic tool that um, that won't scratch up your paint but if you I mean if you don't feel like spending a couple bucks and you're already started I would say just go ahead and put that painter's tape over a flathead screwdriver and just go easy on it it comes off fairly easy so yeah that's that's how I got uh, my rear tail lights off okay now that the lights are off, we can get to a bunch of these screws that are holding on the bumper to the frame. We got one right, one T27, I believe, here. Um, a bunch of one, two, three, four here. And one right down there. And it's pretty much the same on the other side, so yeah, let's get these screws off and keep going forward. Here's another uh, something rough I kind of ran into. There's a screw right along this top corner, a T27 screw up behind this uh, fender lining and um, it's kind of hard for me to get with a regular uh, screwdriver attachment so what I did was I <coughs> attached this little angle driver to um, my T27 bit and got out that screw behind here it was up and this way so um, if you got one it'll make life a hell of a lot easier but I mean you could still get it some way I guess with um, a regular screwdriver but this is my quick tip for you guys to make it a little bit faster and easier all right guys quick tip before you take off the bumper there's this little uh, connector here that's connecting the uh, reverse sensors uh, on the bumper uh, Before you take off the bumper you might want to go ahead and take out this plastic rivet right here pop it out and um, Just disconnect your connector Okay, now that we've got all the screws off and the wires for the backup sensors disconnected We can go ahead and put the bumper off and put it on the side so we can get to uh, getting that rear bumper support off Okay, now that the bumper is off, we can get to the 650mm bolts that are holding up the bumper support. Three on the driver's side and three right here on the passenger side. Now that we got the bumper bar off, we can get to installing our tow hitch. I must say, the fitment on this tow hitch is spot on. Had no alignment issues at all. Um, if you can see that it's sandwiched between the existing bumper support bracket and the frame of the car, uh, I didn't need to buy any 
extended bolts for this, which is awesome. Um, now I'm torquing each of these bolts to the manufacturer spec, so 45 foot pounds, going in some kind of pattern just so they're torqued evenly. And uh, when you're done with that, just go ahead and reverse the order of everything you took off, and then you're pretty much done after that. back together this is what it looks like um, I hope you guys found this video helpful if you guys did please hit that like button down below and yeah thanks Aloha.